Hey guys, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools and DIY channel. You know, it's no fun when your drill bit keeps slipping when you're trying to get a job done. Let's see what we can do about that. Stick around, I'll see you right after this. All right, guys, that's an obvious no-no. One of the reasons your drill bit keeps slipping is that it's not properly centered in the chuck. You gotta get it centered correctly in the chuck. If you have to, place the drill down on the table like that or any surface you have, and then use one hand to center it and use the other hand to tighten the chuck around it. And make sure you hear that clicking sound when you tighten your chuck, that way you know it's tight. Another way to avoid having an off-center drill bit in your chuck is to simply close the jaws of the chuck all the way like this. Until they're completely closed. Then place your drill bit on top of the chuck like that and then open the jaws slowly until that drill bit falls in. Right when it falls in, that's when you stop opening the chuck. That's almost a foolproof guide to make sure that your drill bit is gonna stay on center. So just slide it down in there, tighten it back up, Okay, so you did all that, but what if your drill bit keeps slipping, right? Well, it could be the drill bit itself. So, sometimes drill bits can get bent based on the use and abuse they take. They have to endure extremely high pressures when they're drilling into different materials, and that can warp the bit itself. So one way to do it is to place it on a flat surface, look under it to see if you see any warps or bends or bows in it. This one looks okay. And if you can't really tell because a bend can be a slight tolerance where it's not even perceptible. Well, just grab some brand new drill bits, stick them in the drill and try those out. And if they don't slip, then you know it's the bit. But if the brand new bits slip, then it's not the bits, it's probably the drill. All right, so if it is the drill, what part of the drill are we looking at here? Most likely, it's the chuck. We inserted the bit correctly, the drill bit's not bent, so the chuck can be an issue. So believe it or not, the chuck, just like the drill bit, it's gonna take its fair share of use and abuse over time. That can cause it to become loose and cause the drill bit to wobble when you use the drill. Now, if a drill is giving you all these problems right out of the box, you may wanna return it. But if you had it a while, that may not be possible. So in this case, you may wanna inspect the chuck. It just may need a little tightening. First thing you wanna do is remove the battery. Then you wanna make sure that the rotation selector this thing here that determines the direction of your rotation, you wanna make sure that's in the off position, the neutral position. Then you wanna open the jaws of the chuck as wide as they can go. Take a hex key or a hex wrench key and stick it in there. Then tighten the jaws around the key And then you want to turn the key clockwise, okay? But a better way to do it instead of with your hand, which is not as reliable, because that'll only result in turning the whole chuck. You want the chuck to tighten on the spindle, okay? So you can take a mallet, tap it clockwise. What that's gonna do, it's gonna tighten the chuck onto the spindle inside. Then after that, take the Allen key out, Put your drill bit in there and it should straighten out the drill bit. Now, if it doesn't straighten out the drill bit, then you may have to replace the chuck. So in order to replace your chuck, you gotta remove it from the drill, obviously. But if you look inside the chuck, you see that screw right there. Well, that screw possesses a left-handed thread, okay? So that means in order to loosen the screw, you have to turn it clockwise. 
right? In order to tighten it, you have to turn it anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. So we're gonna take our screwdriver, stick it in there, and twist it clockwise. Left-handed threads or reverse threads are used on devices that spin, especially on devices like drills, where the application of force would make a regular right-handed screw or thread come loose. Sometimes you see them in the automotive world where reverse threads are used on tire bolts. In the welding world where you use a lot of gas and tanks, you have pressure gauges that have reverse threads on them to differentiate from valves that control oxygen, etc. Even in the world of plumbing and heating, reverse threads are used on pipes to prevent leakage. It may seem counterintuitive to tighten a screw by turning it counterclockwise or to loosen it by turning it clockwise, but that's the nature of a left-handed thread. So after you take out your left-handed threaded screw, grab an Allen key about this size, stick it in there, tighten the chuck around it. All right, guys, even with all the steps I just laid out to get your chuck off of your drill, it's not always that easy. Some chucks seem like they're impossible to get off, and that was the case with this one right here. So for the sake of the video, I'm gonna grab another drill and show you how it's done, okay? So once again, we gotta take our left-handed screw out. Then we take our Allen key, tighten the chuck onto the Allen key. Now in the case of the chuck, it's a regular right-handed thread. So you just wanna turn it counterclockwise to loosen it. That's how you take your chuck off. And then when you get your new chuck, just place it back on the screw thread. Drop your screw in there. And remember to tighten it, you gotta turn it counterclockwise. Once again, guys, the chuck can get worn out over time. It can even get dirty. It can have sawdust, lint, all kinds of stuff in there to cause it not to grip the drill bit properly. And remember, when you tighten the chuck, listen for that clicking sound. Here's another thing, guys. It may not even be the drill. It may be your material. For instance, I work in a shop with a lot of metal. And when I'm trying to drill through metal, the drill bit wants to walk on me. So you may want to grab one of these. It's called an automatic punch. And what it does, it creates a small indentation in your material. It allows the drill bit to sit right in that small indentation and it won't go anywhere. All right, guys, that's some of the things that you yourself can diagnose when it comes to your drill bit slipping, okay? But if it's anything outside of that, you may have to take it to a tool repair guy or replace the drill completely. So if you learned something from this or you have advice that can help everybody, feel free to leave it in the comments. By the way, go check out Calibrate.com. Support the channel. We have great products. Sign up for the email list, and I'll see you guys next time.